Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I'll show you how you can create this awesome video using online video editor called NVIDIO, so let's get started. So recently NVIDIA has contacted me and asked me if I could do a review of their online video editor. And you know what, I have played around with it and all I can say it is so easy and fun to create videos. You can choose from hundreds of professional pre-made templates and create awesome looking product videos, social media videos or intros for your YouTube videos in just a couple of clicks. And if you have some experience with video editing, you can start from scratch and build your own video scenes. It is absolutely free to sign up and check out in video, link is in the video description. And if you decide to unleash the full power of this video editor, you can choose from two affordable plans, professional and business. By the way, you can get a 50% discount for all NVIDIA plans until the end of this month with a coupon code OneSkill50. And to make it even more amazing, everyone who signs up for an NVIDIA account until the end of this month will have the chance to win a free one-year NVIDIA business account. I will announce three winners in the upcoming weeks, so make sure you don't miss this opportunity. Later on, you can still get a 25% discount with a coupon code OneSkill25. So let's jump into the video. Let's click on the create button and we will get a couple of options. We can start with a template or we can start from scratch. So let's start from scratch and here we can choose an aspect ratio. So let's go with 16 by 9. And this is how the end video looks like. So here in the center we have our main video window. Here on the left side we have all of the amazing stuff that we can add to our video. And on the right side, we have all of the options that we can tweak and play with. So we can go to the layers panel and here we see all of the objects that exist in our video. And here you will see a lock icon. So you can lock any layer that you want. So that's really useful. And as well, you can delete anything that you don't need. So let's select this text box and hit backspace or delete. And that's how easy it is. And now let's go to videos and let's search for some beautiful Thailand videos because we're making a video about Thailand. So just type in Thailand, hit enter and you'll get a bunch of beautiful videos. So just pick one video that you like. You can click on any of those videos and you can preview it. Alright, so just select your video and drag it and drop it into the scene. So what's interesting about this uh, in video online video editor is that in PowerPoint we have slides and in this video editor we have scenes. So each slide is called scene. So that's awesome. And here in the trim, you know, preview, we can trim our video to any length that you want. So for example, five seconds. And when you're happy, just click done and video will be imported. You can click on preview to preview the video. And this is how it looks like. Amazing. So we can click on duplicate to create a second scene. All right. So we can select this video. We can delete it because we will insert a new video. So let's just scroll around a little bit and let's find another video. For example, this one. So let's just select it, drag it and drop it. And once again, we can trim it to any length that we want. So you can use this blue slider to preview the video and set, you know, your desired starting and ending points. I'm trying to make uh, to trim all of these videos to five seconds so that we have equal, you know, durations in all of the scenes. Beautiful. So now we have uh, two scenes created. And let's go with the third one. So this is how the preview looks like of the second scene. All right. So we can duplicate it. So let's delete this video on the third scene so that we can insert a new video. 
All right, once again, let's trim it to five seconds. Let's click on done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So let's duplicate this third scene. And once again, let me find another video, this time of Bangkok. So let's just find a beautiful video of Bangkok. Let's drag it and drop it. Let's trim it to five seconds and click on done. All right. So let's uh, insert the last scene. All right, and for this uh, last scene, let me actually delete this text box. For the last scene, we will insert not a video, but an image, because you can insert images as well. And they will be automatically animated, you will see, in a couple of seconds. So just, let's just find a beautiful image, for example, this one. Let's drop it here. And let's click on Preview. As you can see, we are getting this zoom out animation and it's looking beautiful. All right, so now let's go to our scene number one and let's insert a scene transition. So just click on this little button between scenes number one and number two and you will get this fly out uh, transition menu. All right, just click on it and now let's just scroll down a little bit and let's find a transition that is called bold light. Let's select it. All right, for the second transition, let's choose uh, diagonal light. Beautiful. And for the third transition, let's choose transition which is called film roll in left. And let's use the same transition for the last transition. <laughs> All right. So let's insert some text. Let's go to text. Let's choose classic and let's choose any classic text that we like. For example, this one, let's click on it and it will be imported. We can drag any of these bubbles on the corner to increase the size. So feel free to position these text boxes wherever you like. We can even activate the grid to see, you know, where's the center of the scene. Looking beautiful. All right. We can go to location boxes and let's choose this one. Let's click on it. Let's align it to the center and let's type inside uh, Thailand instead of Singapore. Singapore is beautiful as well, but this video is about Thailand, so Let's type in Thailand and we can preview scene number one. So here's our text boxes and here is the location box. Everything is looking beautiful. I'll just, uh, I just would like to adjust this animation of this second text box so that it fades uh, from, uh, from top. All right, let's preview the scene. Nice, so the text boxes are appearing and the location box is appearing as well. So I think we are done with the scene number one. We can actually copy. Let's select these text boxes and hit Command or Control C and let's paste them into the second slide. Command V or Control V. All right, Let's just position these uh, text boxes to the left side of the scene. Make sure that text is aligned to the left side. And let's type in something different. For example, enjoy blue water. Uh, resize the text boxes according to your taste. We can actually type in the exact uh, font size as in PowerPoint. And here below, let's just type in water. Because the water is really beautiful <laughs> in Thailand. All right. So once again, let's select both of these text boxes and let's position them like this at the bottom left corner of the slide. So let's give it a preview. So I think one more thing that we can do with these text boxes is change the animation. 
So let's make them appear from the left side. So let's go to fade animations and let's choose one which is uh, which comes from the left side. For example, fade from the left. So let's set this same animation to both uh, text boxes. Fade from left big and let's preview it and it's looking beautiful. All right, and the last thing for this scene number two that I would like to do is adding a smiley face. So let's go to emojis and let's click on this one with some hearts <laughs> and let's position it somewhere like this. And once again, we can play with the animations. So let's just select any animation that we want. Example this one called fade from down and let's preview the final result. All right, so we are finished with scene number two and we can continue with scene number three. So let's just grab these text boxes from the scene number two. Let's copy them, control C or command C and paste them into scene number three. Uh, let's just move these text boxes to the top right corner of the scene just to make it a little bit more interesting type in anything that you want in this case a long tail boat trip and adjust the alignment of these text boxes according to your taste all right and let's insert a smiley this uh, beautiful face beautiful smiley <laughs> All right, a few more adjustments. So let's give it a preview. All right, everything's looking beautiful. I think I would like just to change the animation for this smiley. So let's give it a fade from left big. Let's preview once again. All right. So let's continue with uh, scene number four and we can copy this text box from scene number one and paste it here. Uh, let's delete this uh, bottom text box and let's just leave this one and let's type in visit. And let's grab this location box as well from scene number one. Hit command C or command uh, C and paste it here, co uh, command V or control V. And let's type in Bangkok. All right, let's give it a preview. Wonderful. And here we come to the last scene, scene number five. So let's just copy these text boxes from scene number three. Let's paste them to the last scene. Type in anything that you want. For example, see you in Thailand. All right, and let's insert the smiley face. And let's give it a preview. Everything's looking beautiful and as you can see the photo is zooming out so that's awesome. You can animate your photos. So let's change up the animation for the smiley face a little bit to make it a little bit more interesting and we will be pretty much finished. But as you can see on the left side of the screen Nvidia has many more functionalities. You know we have the music tab we can you know play music in the background we have uh, text we have image placeholders the so-called masks we have lots of effects for example this kind of effect so as you can see there are many more possibilities I just wanted to keep this video simple but you have lots of possibilities and when you're happy you can click on the preview and export just click on export 
and your video will be exported to high quality video that you can download later on to your computer so let's give it a name to our project so this is a second video that I have already created and now let's just click on this download button and the video will be downloaded to your computer so once again this is the final result ladies and gentlemen and now you know step by step how you can create this awesome video using online video editor and video thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video